In 2012, Delta Signal Corporation was at its lowest point, forcing Lewis Weber to step down as CEO, eventually replaced by Brian Nielsen. During this period, revenue was far off the usual track record, whilst costs seemed to continually increase and thus Delta Signal ultimately losing market share to its competitors. Delta Signal was manufacturing 2,000 distinct products while utilizing 100 separate production lines to do so, displaying just how unclear and unfocused the strategy executed at Delta Signal was. Delta Signal failed to provide a clear and concise value proposition as they invested in the business to maintain acceptable quality, product performance, and cost competitiveness, rather than become leaders via a focused singular strategy. In order to revert these detrimental issues and problems, Delta Signal had to implement a more focused strategy as opposed to producing all things for all customers, even when doing so was above and beyond the corporation's capabilities. Creating specific objectives and goals and investing in certain initiatives will ensure that Delta Signal execute a direct strategy which will lead to greater results and thus creating a healthy competitive business. Continually investing in initiatives that aid the implemented strategy is key to building a strong value proposition and meaningful long-term improvement. As a strategic management team, we have decided to focus on a strategy that drives innovation and aims to target luxury segment OEMs. So our approach to resolve the issues that Delta Signal was going through as evident through our strategy maps and the initiatives that we chosen in order to help achieve the objectives. So as you can see by the strategy map, we have decided to choose objectives that focus on the strategic approach to Delta Signal situation. This is evident as we have chosen objectives such as anticipate luxury OEMs, uh, that products may need, improve innovation, process skills, reputation of innovation and technology, improve operating revenue on assets ex and etc. All these objectives align with our strategic approach of selling our products based on product innovation and the luxury segment. The strategy map also has arrows that link objectives to the relative objectives. For example, through achieving the anticipating luxury OMEs that products may need, we are able to achieve high, highly effective new products. And then through that, we are, we are able to achieve a better reputation for innovation and technology. And through that, we are able to um, achieve increased earnings per share. Right. So moving on to some initiatives and reasons why they were chosen to be invested in. So when choosing initiatives we had a budget of 25 million and a maximum of 20 initiatives that could be used in one period. So when investing in initiatives we had to take that into consideration as well as how to achieve our objectives. Some of the initiatives that were invested include the Balanced Scorecard Communication Program, uh, the R&D Process Efficiency Initiative, and the R&D uh, Applying ed uh, Leading Edge Technologies, R&D um, Partnership Initiatives, and Customer Feedback Data Project, uh, Capture Project. So as you can see through um, the investing of our initiatives, we decided to uh, keep investing into these ones as we saw the importance of uh, customer feedback and the research and development. So we decided to heavily invest in them. With the Balanced Scorecard Communication Program initiative, we, we decided to let go of the investing into it because we didn't see the uh, importance of it as opposed to the other ones. Through this, we are able to better plan and create a clearer vision for Delta Signal for the company and its customers. All right, so we talked about the strategy map and initiatives. Now we're going to be talking about the current graphs that we have. So 
We wanted to prove best in class to be the main progression in our innovation. As a result, we varied the innovative initiatives on the budgeting and we had continually stayed at 5% throughout the whole eight periods due to the consistent budget variation to further increase the percentages. The main reason the best in class stayed the main problem was the initiative did not match the, the innovation initiatives that we, we had. So it was mainly focused on quality management as it was, pla it was placed in. This shows the instability to increase, the, increase or decrease the rate of customers' rankings. So on slide two, we removed some of the budgeting on the sixth period to make space for the best in class initiative. As soon as we cut costs at, at period six, seven and eight, there's been a downfall on the quiz results and this from our employees, assuming that would, they would ret retain in recurring information. However, it is still required to invest in the employee scoring program because it allows them to have a further improved knowledge on our innovative system. In addition, we also cut off the support from managing innovative training from, the, from period six to eight as well. That could have impacted how the employee's scoring on the quiz was lower than 90%. In period three, we decided to cut the investments on research and development projects, advancing next stage developments, where during the first two periods, topping at 26% in the second period, we underestimated our innovative project to grow as we did not supply investments between periods three to six. Uh, this, is, this allowed us to drop in an all-time low on 10%. It came to our re-evaluation to proceed on in reinvesting into research and development as it, it found our solution to our problems the whole, this whole time. Uh, regaining towards 20% again. So in period four, there was just a lacking amount of investment traded for the, which, which, which was traded for the best of class, which dramatically affected our efficiency to progress. <coughs> this then focused us to reinvest from period six, seven, and eight, as we were promoting employees towards the end goal. On, our, on my last slide, uh, as this graph uh, shows, th there were brief similarities on advance to the next stage as there was growth from period one to five. Uh, it, it hit the highest point at 35% um, and assuming that it was a good, good decision to lower the budget, uh, this relied on the employee training new and developed skills from previous members to the new that were from the experienced to new. Um, the reason for this best in class stayed the main problem due to the initiatives that were that did not really match the amount of employees training that took place. And this also showed the amount of employees impacted while they were being trained. Uh, as this was not a solution. Uh, it negatively affected our initiative, not fully maximizing our potential final outcome. Okay, so so far we've talked about um, our strategy map, we talked about the initiatives, and we talked about the results. Now I'm going to get you through our recommendations that we believe that's going to help Delta Signal in regards to their own strategical plan. And before going into recommendations, I would like to point out two key issues which my teammates have already mentioned in their early slides. One of those key issues is that throughout um, the entire eight periods, of, um, eight periods of operations, Delta Signal has failed to maintain their quality in their products. And what I mean by that is um, they invested through almost entire budget into innovation, which is one of the fundamentals of 
being adaptive in the market or being competitive in the market. However, in the meantime, the company should also ensure that they're doing the quality on the same level too. So when we when we look at the previous slides to our friend um to Brendan's results, we've seen that the company had no change in their metrics in regards to their reputation as in best in class. Now that stands for their quality. And that is a big problem for the company because they are in the luxury segment and they need to be high quality as well as innovative. And the second issue is that the employee trainings, as we saw in the previous um, slides, the balance scorecard drops down on a significant level after a certain period. And that is because the companies cut on investments for their employee trainings, especially in innovative processes. So based on these key issues, we come up with two recommendations that we believe is going to help Delta Signal. Our first recommendation is further um, R&D investments. Further R&D investments. We believe that expanding their R&D department into India will help Delta Signal in two aspects. First aspect is obviously the India's significantly and continuously developed engineer and IT segments. India has also host and own 30% of the global R&D centers within that country. That attracts a lot of countries to invest in regards to research and development in India particularly. And the second reason that why we believe is the um, leveraging financial resources. We talked through um, the budgeting issues we had during the Delta Signal and we wanted to we wanted to develop this further. So by going into India, due to um, the country's population, the labor is comparatively cheap. Therefore, what we can do is, by expanding their R&D into India, the company will actually leverage their financial resources. And in the meantime, being in that country, and joint venture with an Indian research and development department and companies will allow the company to access to local resources, as well as um, being able to monitor the regular laws and regulations, and that will help in having an influence over the new entrants into the market. Due to India's capacity and their population, um, expanding the company's research and development department to that area, that region, will allow the company to reallocate their financial resources. And the cheap labor will allow Delta Signal to employ more people in that area and have more outcomes with almost no additional cost. Our second recommendation to the company is in regards to their employee trainings. <clears throat> and also involving employees in the innovative and creative process. Now, as we all know, um, the email service of Google, which already known as Gmail, was one of the brilliant ideas of employees who worked at Google. Google has this company policy, which called 20% time. And that requires employees to allocate 20% of their working hours into innovative projects and creative projects that they believe it will help and increase the company's reputation in the market. Now, Google has a very smart way implementing that strategy. And as a result, they allow employees to engage in design and producing process they um, include employees in their operations as well as boosting employees' confidence and possibly reducing the employee turnover. Delta Signal implementing a similar kind of strategy will first of all will create a shared vision amongst the employees and also the top management.
It would also empower employees to be more engaged in the creative processes. And also considering the size of the business, it would generate more new ideas by involving more people. And also we need to bear in mind the fact that employees make up the large percent of the working class, which means it actually provides a further feedback and research to the company in regards to the customer needs. These employees are consumers of other companies, where the employees of other companies are consumers of our company. So our second recommendation for Delta Signal is completely involving employees in the creative processes, which will allow them to have more integrated and more collaborative work within the workplace. As per the recommendations made, we believe that these two recommendations were essential for Delta Signal's strategy. Implementing these strategies wouldn't only allow a company to have more collaborative work, but it would actually ensure their position in the market with even winning and gaining more market share. It would also allow Delta Signal to have more collaborative work with their employees, which is one of the company's most important assets. Having collaborative st strategies with employees will allow the top management to have a different perspective looking into the problems.